today let us discuss questions related to arithmetic sequence from the question paper model examination 2017 see the figures made with match sticks how many sticks are needed for the next figure if we continue like this what is the relation between the numbers 1 2 3 and the number of match sticks used in figure 1 figure 2 figure 3 and so on If we write the number of matchsticks in order, what is the algebraic expression to find the nth term of this sequence? Let us find the number of sticks needed for the next figure. First of all, let us look at the first figure. There is a triangle at the middle, and from each side of the triangle, another triangle is drawn. And the number of sticks used to make this figure equal to number of sides of the triangles outside the middle triangle that is there are three triangles outside the middle triangle so the total number of sticks needed is 3 into 3 or 9 similarly in the second figure we can see a square and from each side a triangle is drawn and number of sticks used to make this figure equal to number of sides in the triangles since there are four triangles the total number of sticks needed is 4 into 3 that is 12 and in the third figure we can see a pentagon and from each side of the pentagon a triangle is drawn and the number of sticks needed to draw this figure equal to number of sides of the triangles that is since there are five triangles total number of sides or total number of sticks equal to 5 into 3 or 15 if we consider like this we can understand that in the next figure there will be a hexagon and from each side of the hexagon another triangle is drawn and the total number of sticks needed to make the figure is equal to total number of sides in the triangle since there are six triangles the number of sides or number of sticks is equal to 6 into 3 or that is equal to 18 so 18 sticks are needed to make the next figure now the second part of the problem if we continue like this what is the relation between the numbers 1 2 3 and the number of match sticks used in figure 1 figure 2 figure 3 and so on we have seen that we have counted number of triangles outside a polygon at first and then we have multiplied it by 3 to get the total number of sticks so in the first figure there are three triangles that is two more than one and in the second figure there are four triangles that is two more than two and in the third figure there are five triangles that is two more than three so we can write number of sticks in figure equal to 1 plus 2 into 3 and number of sticks used in second figure is 2 plus 2 into 3 and in the third is 3 plus 2 into 3 here adding to we get the total number of triangles needed and multiplying it by 3 we get total number of sides of all the triangles and that is equivalent to the total number of sticks needed now the third part of the problem if we write the number of match sticks in order what is the algebraic expression to find the nth term of this sequence as we have seen earlier when we add Two to the position, we get total number of triangles, and then we multiply it by three, we get total number of sticks. To find the nth term, we have to add two to n, that is n plus two, and then we have to multiply it by three. So n plus two into three is the nth term. Or simplifying, we will get three into n is three n, three into two is six. so we can write 3n plus 6 that is the nth term of this 
sequence. Consider the activity sequence 12, 23, 34, etc. What is the tenth term of the sequence? Is 1111 a term of the sequence? Why? It's a question from model examination 2017 and the score is 2. Let us find tenth term at first. We know tenth term equal to first term plus 9 times common difference. Here the first term is 12 and common difference is 11. So the tenth term equal to 12 plus 9 into 11 or 12 plus 99 and that's equal to 111. That is the tenth term is 111. Now we have to check 1111 a term of the sequence or not. We know the difference between any two terms of an arithmetic sequence is a multiple of the common difference. So let us find the difference between 1111 and the first term 12 and that is 1099. Now let us check whether it is a multiple of the common difference 11 or not. As you can see it is not a multiple of 11 because when we divide it by 11 there is a remainder 10. So it cannot be a term of the first term of an arithmetic sequence is 6 and the sum of the first 6 terms is 66. What is its sixth term? What is the common difference of the sequence? What are the first 6 terms of this sequence? This is a question from model examination 2017 and the score is 5. Given that the first term is 6 and sum of 6 terms is, is 66. We know sum of n terms of an arithmetic sequence is n by 2 into first term plus nth term. Therefore, sum of 6 terms equal to 6 by 2 into first term plus 6th term. Given that first term is 6, so we can write it as 6 by 2 into 6 plus 6th term equal to 66. Now 6 by 2 equal to 3. So we can rewrite it as 3 into 6 plus 6th term equal to 66. Now taking 3 on the other side we can write 6 plus 6th term equal to 66 divided by 3 and that is equal to 22. Now taking 6 on the other side we can write 6th term equal to 22 minus 6 and that is equal to 16. That is the 6th term of the sequence is 16. Now we have to find the common difference. We know the difference between any two terms of an arithmetic sequence is a multiple of its common difference. And the difference between sixth term and first term is 5 times common difference. So we can write 5 times common difference equal to sixth term minus first term. Here the sixth term is 16 and the first term is 6. So we can write it as 16 minus 6 and that is equal to 10. That is 5 times common difference equal to 10. Therefore common difference equal to 10 by 5 or 2. Now the last part we have to find the first 6 terms of the sequence. First term is 6 and common difference is 2. So we can easily write the 6 terms as 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, and 16. The first term of an arithmetic sequence is 6 and the common difference is 4. What is the algebraic form of the sequence? What is the algebraic expression to find the sum of the first n terms of the sequence? How many terms of the sequence starting from the first are to be added to get 5 terms? It's a question from model examination 2017 and the score is 4. The first part is what is the algebraic expression of the sequence. Given that first term is 6 
and common difference is 4. We know nth term is equal to first term plus n minus 1 times common difference. That is 6 plus n minus 1 into 4. Multiplying 4 by n minus 1, we can write 4n minus 4. So, nth term can be written as 6 plus 4n minus 4. Now, 6 minus 4 is 2. So, we can write it as 4n plus 2. That is, the algebraic form of the sequence is xn equal to 4n plus 2. Now, the second part of the question is, what is the algebraic expression to find the sum of the first n terms of the sequence? Sum of n terms equal to n by 2 into first term plus nth term. Here, first term is 6 and we have got nth term as 4n plus 2. So, we can write it as n by 2 into 6 plus 4n plus 2. Now, 6 plus 2 is 8. So, we can rewrite it as n by 2 into 4n plus 8. Now, 4n equal to 2 into 2n and 8 equal to 2 into 4. So, 2 is a common factor. So, we can write it as 2 into 2n plus 4. So, sum of n terms can be written as n by 2 into 2 into 2n plus 4. Now, we can cancel the 2 in the numerator and the denominator. So, it becomes n into 2n plus 4. Multiplying, we get 2n square plus 4n which is the algebraic expression to find the sum of first n terms of this sequence. Now, the third part, how many terms of the sequence starting from the first are to be added to get 5 10? Let n terms are to be added to get 5 10. We have seen that sum of first n terms of the sequence is 2n square plus 4n. So, we can write 2n square plus 4n equal to 5n. Taking 5n on the other side, we can write 2n square plus 4n minus 5n equal to 0. This is a second degree equation. Here, A, the coefficient of n square is 2. B, the coefficient of n is 4. And C, the term without n is minus 5n. Let us find b square minus 4ac at first that is equal to 4 square minus 4 into 2 into minus 5 10. 4 square is 16, negative into negative becomes positive. Now 4 into 2 into 5 10 equal to 4080 and adding we get 4096. Now n equal to minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. Here we have already got a equal to 2, b equal to 4, c equal to minus 10 and b square minus 4ac equal to 4096. Replacing we get n equal to minus 4 plus or minus root of 4096 by 2 into now, root of 4096 is 64, so we can rewrite it as minus 4 plus or minus 64 by 4. Now, we can split this into 2, minus 4 plus 64 by 4 and minus 4 minus 64 by 4. From the first, we can write minus 4 plus 64 is 60, so that is equal to 60 by 4 or 50. From the second, we can write minus 4 minus 64 is minus 68 and minus 68 by 4 equal to minus 17. So, the value of n is 15 or minus 17, but number of terms cannot be negative. Therefore, number of terms added to get 510 equal to 15.